Hi, Mike Perla here uh, to share with you the synopsis of my latest thriller, Killing Karma. Already there are reviews coming in, uh, but I'm going to uh, save those for the next install of The Honest Author. Don't worry, all good thus far. So, the synopsis. Had Peter imagined he'd be considered a serial killer, he'd have chosen differently. Have you ever felt karmic retribution in your own life? What the characters in Killing Karma come to realize is that no karmic debt ever goes unpaid. In Killing Karma, this sentiment is taken to the nth degree, where crime fiction intersects with karmic reckoning. Uh, to produce Detroit's most bizarre string of homicides, Detective Harlow has ever worked. Solving homicides is seldom easy work, but Detective Harlow fears the latest evil gripping Detroit may prove to be a perfect crime. To catch this killer, Harlow will have to put aside his feelings of inadequacy and overcome seemingly impossible odds to find the third victim before the serial killer disappears forever. Get caught up in a surreal mystery as Killing Karma takes you on a unique and unforgettable thrill ride into the world of past lives, homicides, and the price Karma commands of everyone. The veteran, the detective, the therapist, the young executive, the serial killer, the karma. Across Detroit, a string of murders and an abduction sharing the same calling card bring the players together in the most serendipitous way. The homicides share no commonality, save the ambiguous note left at each scene, while the abduction strikes Harlow as uncharacteristic for his serial killer. Peter, a veteran, moved to Detroit to escape his past, start a new life managing an obscure bookstore, and pursue treatment for his PTSD. Theresa, a regression therapist with a complicated history of her own, accepts Peter as her client, wondering if karma hasn't just paid her a visit. When Peter's new girlfriend disappears and the serial killer's note is discovered in her penthouse, unexpected twists complicate Harlow's investigation. Meanwhile, Theresa struggles to understand what Peter's past lives are trying to tell them. Detective Harlow will have to overcome his feelings of inferiority over past mistakes. He must use every tool available to him, paired with his vast experience, to connect the dots to these seemingly random, yet premeditated murders. Will Harlow be able to piece together the scant evidence before the abducted woman becomes his killer's third victim? So, hopefully, uh, that's enticing enough uh, for you to hop online and, and pick up the paperback or ebook. Uh, I love reading your reviews and as you know I'll read them here good or bad uh, so if you decide to fill out your summer reading lists uh, with Killing Karma I appreciate it if you leave a review. Thanks for listening. Happy reading. where crime fiction intersects <sighs> to connect the dots to s will Harlow be able to piece together will Harlow be able to piece together the scant evidence before the abducted woman becomes this before the abducted woman becomes his t before the abducted woman because scant evidence before the abducted woman becomes his serial killers third victim. Mm -hmm.